Rogue planets are elusive cosmic objects that have masses comparable to those of planets in our solar system but do not orbit a star, instead roaming freely on their own. But now data from the European Southern Observatory telescopes and other facilities have discovered at least 70 new rogue planets in our galaxy, making it the largest trove of rogue planets ever discovered. In this video, I talk about rogue planets and why this discovery is an important step towards understanding the origins and features of these cosmic wanderers. I am Mohana Basu and this is Pure Science. Usually, planets are found around stars. In fact, observing stars helps astronomers discover planets. They either notice slight motions in the star induced by the gravitational pull of an orbiting planet or spot tiny dips in the brightness when a planet travels its parent star's face. Spotting rogue planets is much more challenging. Usually, astronomers rely on what is known as gravitational microlensing. When one star in the sky appears to pass nearly in front of another, the light rays of the background source star become bent due to the gravitational attraction of the foreground star. This distorted light from the background star reveals a lot about the mass and other properties of the closer star. Watching foreground objects move in front of background stars can also reveal objects that emit little or no light, such as planets. Since they are so difficult to spot, not many were known until now. The team that discovered the largest haul of such planets took advantage of the fact that in the few million years of their formation, these planets are still hot enough to glow, making them directly detectable by sensitive cameras on large telescopes. The team found at least 70 new rogue planets with masses comparable to Jupiter's in a star-forming region close to our Sun in the Upper Scorpius and Ophiuchus constellation. To spot so many rogue planets, the team used data spanning about 20 years from a number of telescopes on the ground and in space. The team measured the tiny motions, colors and luminosities of the tens of millions of sources in the large area of the sky. Such measurements allowed them to securely identify the faintest objects in this region, the rogue planets. The team used observations from ESO's Very Large Telescope, or VLT, the Visible and Infrared Survey Telescope for Astronomy, or VISTA, the VLT Survey Telescope and the MPG ESO 2.2 meter telescope located in Chile, along with other facilities. The study suggests there could be several billions more of these elusive starless planets that we have yet to discover. By studying the newly found rogue planets, astronomers may find clues to how these mysterious objects form. The planets that orbit around stars, like planets in our own solar system, form from what is known as the protoplanetary disk. A protoplanetary disk is a rotating disk of dense gas and dust surrounding a young, newly formed star. Dust clumping together in these disks lead to the formation of the planets and they continue to orbit the star, bound by its gravitational pull. Some scientists believe rogue planets can form from the collapse of a gas cloud that is too small to lead to the formation of a star or that they ha could have been kicked out from their parent system. But which mechanism is more likely remains unknown. Further advances in technology will be key to unlocking the mystery of these nomadic planets. The team hopes to continue to study them in greater detail with ESO's forthcoming Extremely Large Telescope or ELT currently under construction in the Chilean Atacama Desert and due to start observations later this decade. The objects discovered are extremely faint and little can be done to study them with current facilities, according to the researchers. The ELT will be crucial to gathering more information about most of the rogue planets that the researchers have found. This is Mohana Basu, Special Correspondent at The Print. If you like our work, do consider paying for a subscription to The Print. You can do so through the link in the description box.